So why is he showing me this video of a construction vehicle? Well, the simple answer is, I'm not. This is a 3D reconstruction using Gaussian splatting. And it's super easy to do, so stay tuned. Hello, and in today's 5 Minute Friday, I want to discuss how we can create these amazing 3D models that are not only super easy to create, but easy to share as well, since all you need to do is send someone a URL and they can click on it and, and visualize it on their PC. I've covered 3D modeling in some of my other videos, but uh, this one uses a new technique called Gaussian splatting, and it's amazingly fast and super easy to use. So let's get to it. So the system we're going to be using today is called Polycam, and it's got some great features, including the ability to capture with anything you've got. So you can use your cell phone, your drone, whatever else you need. You can also capture using photos or video. It doesn't matter. Although I did find that photos worked a bit better. Everything is processed online, so you don't need a powerful PC to do this. And you can share it super easily. All you need to do is send someone a link. And as long as they've got a decent browser, they can just access it. And there are free accounts available. Uh, all of the models here were created using just a free account. So there's a lot you can do with that with free. And even if you need to upgrade, the price is actually very reasonable. For this tutorial, I decided I was going to make a model of this drill. Now, the cool thing about the software that we're about to use is that you can use either photos or video to create your 3D model. I actually ended up capturing both so that I could do a comparison. And I have to say that the photos ended up looking much better, although both of them worked surprisingly well. So I started by capturing video and all I did was a few orbits around the drill with video being captured at 30 frames a second. Once I had enough video, I switched over to using photos instead. One thing to note is that to make sure that I got a good model, I did change altitude a couple of times. So some shots low down and then also some shots high up looking straight down. And that gave us plenty of images to create the 3D model from. Now this is where the magic happens. Open a web browser and go to poly.cam and then click on the sign up button. Then sign in through your preferred method. In my case, I'm going to say continue with Google and I'm going to select my Avias account. Now I've already signed up, but the way that you create a capture is click on this create capture button and then select create a Gaussian splat. You can drag your images and your videos into this location, or you can click to choose from the file system. I'm going to choose from the file system. I'm going to go to my five minute Friday and I put these files into a, a folder called data. And you can either choose the video and click open, or you can choose the files themselves. In my case, I'm going to choose the files. If you have the free version, it says you may add up to 150 images. So I need to change my selection to include fewer images. I'm going to give the splat a name. Five minute Friday drill test. And you can choose who has access to this. I'm going to say anyone with the link. And you're also checking this box because my files were taken sequentially. So I'm going to help the system out by selling it sequential. And then you just say upload and process. Note that it tells you the expected processing time. Once you click upload, you have to wait until the upload finishes and then the system will start processing. Once the processing is complete, you'll get a message on your screen down here telling you that it's finished processing. And you can either click to open it or you can actually just go to the, the model here and click and it will open up. Now I will say one thing, which is I generally use Firefox, but I found using Firefox, the clicking and dragging was a little slow and clunky. So what I ended up doing was copy and pasting the, the URL, which is all that you need to share and put it into Safari. Once it's in Safari, it's super smooth. You can just move around. Zoom in, zoom out, 
just whatever you need to do. Uh, Chrome did work better than Firefox. So if you don't have Safari, try Chrome, but uh, I would not recommend using this with Firefox. And then that's it. Once you've uh, created your model, you can just copy the URL and you can send that to anyone and let them explore to their heart's content. Anyway, as always, I hope you found that useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.